How many's there? Two. Two of them? Good morning, everyone. Today's Sunday the 29th, and uh, thank you all for tuning in. Today, the plans for today is uh, this afternoon when the dew comes off the grass, we want to go ahead and mow the yard. And uh, before that, we're going to get started and go out to where we're making the future goat pasture site. I want to do some uh, clear cutting on all the brush and brush and shrubs out there. <clears throat> so I get my tractor in there, do some backhoe work, smooth it out a little bit, and dig up some stumps. And uh, eventually I'm going to work on increasing the size of my pond. I'm digging it a little deeper and everything, but uh, that's what I got planned for this morning. <clears throat> Who knows what else I'll get into, but uh, stick around. And also, I want to thank you all. We've, the channel has reached over 200 subscribers, uh, which is great. I appreciate everyone's comments. And uh, we got work to do, so let's get to it. All right guys, so we're out here um, in the area I'm gonna call the future goat site. This is the area of the property where I built the, the little pond there and we're just expanding behind me. So around here in Eastern Ohio, there's a lot of box elder, um, a lot of multiple rose bushes and uh, <clears throat> I call it spice, but I think it's called like alum or something. But anyways, this area is full of all of that. Um, also, I'm just curious, Comment below, uh, I want to see where all the listeners are and watchers, <clears throat> where y'all are located about. So uh, I like that. I find that interesting. Um, I like to see on the stats just where everyone's watching from. But uh, that's just fascinating to me. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and clear cut as much of this as I can and get in there. I'm going to leave the bigger stumps uh, to dig out with the backhoe. But the smaller ones, I'll probably just um, uproot with the loader. But we're going to go ahead see how much of this I can clear my goal is to get around the pond and then around out maybe another 50 or 60 feet that way and just try to make it like a field but uh, it's gonna be a lot of work I don't know how much I'm gonna get done today but uh, stick around we got some action coming <laughs>
cutting small stuff like that uh, kind of really stretches your chain and uh, a lot of kickbacks and everything. It's pretty dangerous, but just through the chain, I'm going to go ahead and uh, refix it there. Get back in action. What are you doing? Hi Axel. Where's your stick, huh? Where's the stick? Where's it at? Where's your stick? All right, so we've been working at it now for about 40 minutes, I'd say. And uh, got most of it done. A lot of vines, it makes it tough. But I'll go ahead and show you uh, what all we did. All right, so there's the pond. I got that shrub there. I don't know if I'm going to take it out or leave it. I'll probably take it out. But then all this is now pretty much open. Um, uh, I left that bigger box elder tree in there. Cut all the vines out of it. Thought maybe I'd leave it for shade. I might take it out though. Um, just so I could eventually brush hog all this. But as far as the rest of it, you know. We got all the brush down. I'm gonna go and uh, I think I'm just gonna cut the stumps off at the ground so I can use the front end loader and come in here and I really don't know what I'm gonna do with it all. Maybe get the chipper back out, but uh, we'll see. All right, everyone. So it's around the hour mark. Um, I found one thing that I forget more than filming and that's to bring water and take a break. So I'm gonna go back, take a break get hydrated then come back out might hook up the tractor to the chipper um, it's still a little soft out here this is only the second day without rain so I'm gonna go back and uh, get fueled up and rock and roll all right everyone it's about 1230 um, gotten a lot done next step I'm gonna get the brush hog and the, the loader with the tractor come out here brush hog over some of the smaller limbs that I left just to get a clearer view of what's, what's still there. I think I got most of everything up, so it shouldn't be too intense. And then uh, we went ahead and got us uh, another big old brush pile for the chipper. That'll be after I brush hog. So I'll show you the progress I've made and uh, we'll get on to something else. All right, so here's a look at the big brush pile I got. And uh, I'm guessing that's going to take at least half hour, 45 minutes to 
grind that up. But uh, walk over this way. Show you what all we've got. Still got a lot of logs and stuff in here. I'll have to push off the loader. I hate doing that because I'd like to pile it up you know, all in one spot. But I think when I have to push it back over there, it gets swampy towards that tree line. Might just pile everything up there and call that the end of the pasture. Put the fence on the, this side of it. So we got that all cut. I just got to push everything around there. Should open this up good. Got to take out that tree yet. Move these big logs. And I should have a clear shot to the pond. I could get in there one day and dig it out. Here's a stack of firewood I got. Like I said, all these smaller ones. I just, I hate wasting, so. I'll cut it all up, it'll burn. And I also finished cutting and drug out a lot of the brush in here. This is the main spot I'm gonna brush hog. And uh, I believe I got a yellow jacket's nest somewhere. Either that or they're just after all the sap. But they're all over all these stumps. There's gotta be a nest around here somewhere. Hopefully I don't find it, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the tractor and uh, get busy after I eat lunch. Oh, I forgot to tell you all, I've uh, been at it so hard here, I blew a tire. Gee whiz. Need some new work boots now. All right, for lunch today, I'm gonna do up an egg and turkey sandwich, and then I'm gonna get back to work. Having the farm fresh eggs, I find myself eating eggs often. <laughs> do up a little Cajun turkey on there. And then some pepper jack cheese, a little mustard, a little mayo, boom! Alright, I think I better stick with outdoor videos. So, just ate my sandwich and before I make my second one because it was amazing and I'm still hungry, I wanted uh, one of y'all to comment below. Um, which area, which state you're from, and where you're viewing from there. And also, an input, any advice on my future YouTube videos. Should I keep them on an organized topic, kind of like what I've been doing, or should I switch to just uploading uh, random clips um, of different things, kind of more along the lines of uh, video blogging. But um, please comment below, let me know um, what all you would like. Um, you're, I'm making these videos for you all just a lot of people, you know, are kind of share similar interests on the channel, and some people uh, really like the outdoors but don't have the ability to get out there. And so that's basically some of the reasons why I'm doing the channel. And like I said, I'm doing doing these for you all for your entertainment. So any advice and tips for future would be awesome. So thanks. All right, everyone, that's it for part one of this video. Again, if you enjoy these videos, please click like, subscribe and hit that little uh, notification bell thing up by subscribe there and that'll let you know when we get a new video. But uh, I'm gonna get back to work and uh, stay tuned for part two. All right, thanks guys, y'all take care.